The Asylum, located in a quiet town somewhere in the U.S., once hosted hundreds of patients for rehabilitation, but now it is better known for the horrors that occurred within. The asylum opened in 1925 as a treatment facility for the mentally ill. It featured 22 buildings on a 200-acre property sheltered by a dense forest. The patients initially had access to a theater, gym, rec center, chapel, and other amenities. There were also a number of residential cottages available to those who could care for themselves. The institution was a beacon of hope for many mentally ill and their families, who struggled to find adequate care at a time where stigma surrounded the issue of mental health. As the years passed by, the asylum failed to live up to the idealistic dreams of the founders. Many problems arose from a lack of funding and staff, including numerous cases of mental, physical, and sexual abuse. Additionally, a large portion of the patients were incorrectly diagnosed and forced to stay at the asylum against their will. Those trapped included the deaf, illiterate, epileptic, and orphaned. In 1968, an eight-year-old girl was admitted to the asylum by her parents. In 1976, she choked to death after being fed lying down. This was just one of many neglectful practices of the asylum. The following legal action from her parents led to the eventual closing of the asylum and relocation of the remaining inhabitants. The asylum officially shut its doors in 1991 but not before 387 patients had lost their lives. Their bodies lie at the Garden of Eternal Rest, a gravesite not far from the institution. While originally unmarked, families have since paid for a mass gravestone with the names of their loved ones. Years after its closing, the asylum remains standing in a state of disrepair. At the mercy of nature, the rotting structures are a testament to the decades of suffering that took place within its walls. It sits waiting for the next wanderer to uncover its dark secrets. <laughs>